My name is Alexis Jordan. And I was born and raised in Southampton County, Virginia, the home of Nat Turner, the, probably one of the most successful uh, slave revolts that took place in the country. So being from Southampton County and from one of the uh, roads, the main thoroughfare that Nat Turner and his uh, people went down to attack the plantation, I heard stories all my life about uh, the insurrection. But um, I always got uh, stories that made Nat out to be an old, old, broken down man. He was called, um, I remember studying it in our history book. He was called Old General Nat. And I later found out, you know, as I got older, that old General Nat was 31 years old when the um, insurrection took place. So I scratched my head and then realized that most of the people that were with him were basically grown children. They were in their 20s and 30s, young people. So, and then um, later on, I realized that in addition to these people being very young, there were women with him, young ladies, 18, 19, 20 years old. Now, what really hit me was uh, I stumbled upon a story that talked about a lady that took part in the uh, insurrection. They tortured her and tied her, I think it was to a cartwheel down at a place called Cross Keys, which is in Boykins, Virginia, near where everything took place, right on Highway 35 hit itself. So uh, one of the gentlemen, they said they got tired of her crying and yelling and suffering. So he walked took his shotgun and went up and he, bam, he shot her. So that struck a nerve. And I said, well, gee, you never hear about the women, the females. Why is that? So then I started um, doing a little looking and I realized that several African-American women were lynched or hanged. So I said, well, you know, we're always talking about uh, the man. Women, in most cases, are kind of marginalized. So I said, well, this uh, series would kind of shed a light on that. So I called it Forgotten Fruit, because these women have all but been just tossed aside and forgotten. And they were right alongside the men elbow to elbow, carrying their knives and holes and pitchforks right along with the rest of the insurrectionists.